Hello everyone, my name is Santosh Haryal from IARE College. I am first year student from IT section. Today I am here to represent my topic single phase induction motor which is in basic electrical engineering. So here we start. Single phase induction motor. Single phase induction are widely used in homes, offices, workshops etc. As power delivered to most of the houses and offices in single phase. In addition to this, single phase induction motors are reliable, cheap in cost, simple in construction and easy to repair. Now move towards the construction of single phase induction motor. Now move towards the construction of a single phase induction motor. It has two main parts, namely rotor and stator. The single phase motor stator has a laminated iron core with two windings arranged perpendicularly. One is the main and the other is the auxiliary winding or starting winding. Both windings are overlapped with each other. As you can see in the picture, the winding, it contains the winding, slots, motor housing, iron core and the slot isolation. Now, second one is rotor. The motor uses a square cage rotor which has a laminated iron core with slots. Aluminium bars are molded on the slots and short circuit at both ends with a ring. As you can see in the picture of a rotor, it consists of shaft, fan blades, laminated iron core, aluminium bars, fan blades, shaft and aluminium ring. To understand this, you can see in these diagrams. The first one contains stator with laminated iron core, slots with windings, rotor with laminated iron core, bars, ring to short circuit the bars and starting windings and the red one is main windings. In the second diagram it will show the main rotor shaft and it consists of stator and main winding in the top of the rotor shaft and side of the st starting winding. Sides are the starting windings. Now come forward to the principle of operation. First, when the stator of a single phase motor is fed with single phase supply, it produces alternating flux in the stator winding. Second, the alternating current flowing through a stator winding causes induced current in the rotor bars of square cage rotor according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Third, the induced current in the rotor will also produce alternating flux even after both alternating fluxes are set up and the more motor fails to start. Fourth, if the rotor is given an initial start by external force in either direction, then motor accelerates to its final speed and keeps running with its rated speed. This behavior of a single phase motor can be explained by double field revolving theory. Now, what is double field revolving theory? A single phase AC current supplies the main winding that produces a pulsating magnetic field. Mathematically, the pulsating field could be divided into two fields which are rotating in opposite direction. The intersection between the fields and the current induced in the rotor bars generates opposite torque. The interaction between the fields and the current induced in the rotor bar generates opposing torque. Under these conditions, with only the main field energized, the motor will not start. However, if an external torque moves the motor in any direction, the motor will begin to start. As you can see in these graphs or diagrams or figures, we can start from any direction and it will rotate. The motor will start to rotate. Now, single phase induction motor is not self-starting. To make it self-starting, it can be temporarily converted into a two-phase motor. While starting, this can be achieved by introducing an additional starting winding, also called an auxiliary winding. Hence, stator of a single-phase motor has two windings, main winding and the starting winding, which is also called auxiliary winding. These two windings are connected in parallel across a single-phase supply and are spaced 90 electrical degree apart. Phase difference of 90 degree can be achieved by connecting a capacitor in series with the starting winding. Hence, motor behaves like a two-phase motor and the stator produces revolving magnetic field which causes rotor to run. Once motor gathers speed, say up to 80 or 90 percent of its normal speed, the starting winding gets disconnected from the circuit by means of a centrifugal switch and the motor runs only on main winding.
Now moving towards the production of RMF in the single phase induction motor. Minimum two magnetic flux required. Interaction of two fluxes produces a resultant flux which is rotating magnetic field in space in one direction. To make the single phase motor self-starting, thus RMF is important, can be achieved by producing flux which is having some phase difference between stator flux and the flux produced due to the starting winding which provided the starting torque of the single phase induction motor as phase angle between flux increases starting torque will be increased once motor start other flux can be removed and motor will continue to rotate under the influence of stator magnetic field as you can see in this graph now moving towards the types of single phase induction motor depending upon the methods for making a synchronous motor as self starting motor producing rotating stator magnetic flux there are mainly four types of single phase induction motor first split phase induction motor second capacitor start induction motor third capacitor start capacitor run induction motor fourth shaded pole induction motor now here my ppt ends hope you like my video thank you